little speed dip. We'll see how the uh, suspension does. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing a 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross in the XLE package. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Troy here and Murray for giving me some time with this Corolla Cross. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a Nat Jasper did two liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 29 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being 169 horsepower and then 150 pound feet of torque. And also I want to mention that the area where you put the hood latch is very interesting. It's kind of hidden. Took me a second to find it. Now let's go over the front end of the Corolla Cross and I took off as much snow as I could uh, manage with my little uh, snow broom that you guys can see over there uh, against the Tacoma. Um, but anyways, other than my uh, poor job with getting the snow off, you guys can see you've got really nice body lines here. I love how that connects into the front grille. And then notice how we've got these projector bulbs here at the front with the LED accent light that's just up above that. And I'll kind of clear that off so you guys can see that just a little bit better. Man, these filming gloves are coming in handy quite a bit. Fog lights down below, we've got parking sensors here on the front. And then you guys can see we've got the metallic gr a grille with the Toyota logo there in the center. And overall, I mean, I think it's a good looking vehicle from a front end uh, perspective. Coming on the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design on the wheels themselves, it actually looks really cool. So you've got this silver here on the top and then notice how it gets random like cut through with the metallic gray. I think that's really cool attention to detail and I definitely love the look of it. We have the plastic molding here for the fender flares along the side and then that continues all along the bottom portion of the Corolla Cross. It's at the bottom of the mirror as well. We do have chrome trim here around the windows and then you guys can see the rail there on the roof and here is your full side view if you guys are running in terms of size here with the uh, Corolla Cross this is a uh, RAV4 right over here next to a new Tundra which uh, we will be reviewing today as well um, but you guys can see here at the size of the RAV4 and I'll try to stand at like an equal distance from both of them so there's the RAV4 and then I guess we're kind of close to this so now I got to move back a little bit here okay so Corolla Cross RAV4. So you can see the RAV4 is quite a bit uh, bigger, but this isn't quite as small as the uh, CHR. It's bigger than that. Ooh. Also, we have the unlock, the lock. Look at the Toyota logo, all that fun stuff. And now it's open. Now let's pop here into the rear of the Corolla Cross. So first off, you guys can see we've got the Toyota first aid kit right there. And then underneath you've got the storage space with the spare tire. And so overall, this is a nice flat loading floor for this area. Then there's more storage on the side. We have this nice cargo cover that you can pull out. You got the latching and everything on the side. Um, but overall, the uh, trunk area is actually pretty spacious. I'm impressed. And then you can lock it and then you can press that and then that'll lower it down. And now she is closed. Now let's finish things up here with the rear of the Corolla Cross. So first off, uh, the taillights on this are definitely interesting with the design. Got our Corolla Cross badge right there, XLE all-wheel drive badge on the other side. More parking sensors down below. And then you can see the trim here. And then also we've got the exhaust tip there at the very back. And um, other than that, again, I think it's a pretty good looking vehicle from a back end perspective. The shape of it kind of reminds me of a Porsche a little bit. Uh, I kind of see like Porsche Cayenne. Let me know if you guys think the same thing. Now popping to the interior, notice how we actually have the uh, stitching through this, but you guys can kind of hear it's uh, hard, so they like put fake stitching, but I mean, at, le at least it looks nice. Padding down below, and then you can see we've got really nice seats here, so they're two-tone, and you guys can see the stitching in it as well. Uh, but yeah, they look really nice, and of course, before we pop in, gotta do the good old shoe shake with the uh, man slippers. You guys can see the uh, legroom right there. Headroom as well, and then we got some vents right here, and this pulls down to be an armrest with some cup holders. Let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, you can see with the lighter color and then the darker color down below and then again, the same uh, stitching thing, stitching, right? Window controls here with the mirror adjustments. And then we do have blind spot monitoring here for the mirrors. And then here are the seats. Again, you've got the vinyl here at the front, just like in the rear with all of the stitching that goes all down there. Power adjustments on the side of the seat. And they're actually uh, pretty soft to the touch. You guys can see the pedals down below and then we've got this to open and close the hatch and then the steering wheel is uh, manually adjustable and i should probably lock that anyways there's room to look before we pop in Beep. 
Now here is the steering wheel. You guys can see you've got uh, leather trim around the steering wheel and then you've got the stitching here on the center portion. We have this for our cruise control. It's got the lane keep assist as well. And this is for like the radio, volume controls, voice command controls, controls for the center stack, all that normal stuff. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. So, you know, it's got all the normal Toyota stuff. Now here is the center gauge cluster. There's a few different menus you can scroll through here in the center. So you guys can see this whole setup uh, right here. And it's pretty cool, all the different things you can scroll through. I also just like the uh, look of it. I think it has this cool kind of like modern uh, look to it. And if you guys are wondering, uh, this here is a screen, but the other, the sides are not. So if I turn off the car, you guys can see how kind of like it all gets illuminated, but you do have some like analog gauges on the uh, sides, but then center is all screen. Well, now uh, popping here into the center, let's go over the camera system. So we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And there's a few different viewpoints here with the camera, definitely nice. As for the rest of the infotainment system, uh, first off response time with these buttons is really good. Um, and you guys can see that when you press it, uh, it's great response time. This doesn't necessarily look the most modern uh, per se, uh, but it functions just like any other modern infotainment system. Uh, this one, I guess, doesn't have navigation, uh, but yeah, I really like it. I think it's really user friendly. and I'm glad they have a bunch of analog buttons on either side to kind of help out with getting uh, shortcuts to everything. We've got dual zone climate right here for the front of the Corolla Cross. And then down below, we've got our heated seats for the front USB. We have our wireless phone charger. And then you can see we've got our stability control here with the auto stop start. And then here's our shifter for that CVT automatic. It does have a manual shift function. And then you can see the parking brake auto hold. We have a couple of cup holders. And yes, those are uh, Toyota Tundra keys. Get excited, folks. We've got the center console here. You can see the... Uh, 12 volts inside and then again you can see they continue this um so i guess that i was kind of giving it a little bit of a hard time because now they have my gloves off it does press in a little bit so it is kind of like somewhat uh padded that the uh stitching is in so you know what i kind of slightly take it back anyways you can see the glove box right here and then finishing things here at the uh, top we do have a sunroof and a uh, pretty nice uh, headliner it is lighter colored so it matches the theme of the interior so here's our window sticker for this Corolla Cross, as you guys can see. Um, and then here's some information here on, you know, the standard equipment. So you guys can feel free to go down all of that. And then the optional equipment with this particular one. But there's your total MSRP, $30,632. And you guys can remember, this thing is uh, all-wheel drive, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, that all being said, uh, we're going to take it out for an interesting test drive. Before we go off in the uh, so before we go off on the uh, test drive of the Sentry, let's see the uh, visibility here. Again, we've got blind spot monitoring and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, well, let's uh, set off on the most remarkable test drive you guys will ever see on the Ben Hardy channel. Um, so if you guys are wondering, uh, this is a uh, fleet vehicle technically, and uh, since this is a uh, fleet vehicle, that means that I uh, can't really take off the lot. But, 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 I still can technically drive it on the lot. So we're just going to take a tour here of the uh, Toyota dealership so I can kind of uh, slightly feel what the uh, Corolla Cross drives like. Um, the first thing that I want to mention is going over that crunchy snow. Did a pretty good job, I will say that. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention is the steering. Really light. Uh, it feels pretty much like Toyota's other just uh, SUVs. It feels pretty normal, pretty mundane. I guess this will be our test track. Look at this little speed dip. We'll see how the uh, suspension does. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Man, I'm I'm trying so hard to keep a straight face because this, I, I figured you guys would want to see some driving rather than no driving. So like, I, I feel like this is better than nothing. There you go, another little speed dip. More crunchy snow. Uh, yeah, it's super easy to drive. I'll get like a little acceleration here. Yeah, pretty good. It's in the eco mode. And then this lane is empty, so we'll get another acceleration. I guess that'll be our test drive. Yeah, pretty good. Braking's good too. It's easy to drive. It's, it just drives like a small little Toyota. Uh, I think the Corolla Cross is a pretty accurate name. It's basically just like an SUV Corolla and it kind of drives like one. And you guys can see that all wheel drive grip does this uh, well in snow. And I guess we will cap things off with uh, parking this. And, uh, 
you guys can see with the parking situation. I mean, this isn't a terribly difficult parking space to get into, but you know, I don't know. Um, so I guess on that little drive, uh, I think for $30,000 all wheel drive SUV gets good fuel economy. And we are officially back in our parking space. Um, I think this thing's a pretty good value. Um, I know some people might have some contention with the fact that it has a CVT, but if you're just wanting like a reliable, good fuel economy, all wheel drive SUV, uh, that actually has some space in it. That's something that the CHR doesn't have and is very reasonably priced. This Corolla Cross, Cross is a really good value uh, overall for everything you get at the price point that it's at. Um, so yeah, if that's what you're looking for, check out this new Corolla Cross. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller, Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Corolla Cross. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.